Bryce Lewis, the 93 kilo national champion. And um, we've got Natalie Hansen, his handler and wife. And Bryce, you want to start off by kind of summarizing your day? Or Natalie as well, you can brag on your lifter. I'll let, I'll let him go. Yeah. Um, it was it's such a mixed bag. So, yes, I won. Um, but the goal going into today was really to hit that Carpino, which we had planned based on attempts on the second deadlift. And I was cramping the entire day. Um, nutrition had been like a big factor for, for this prep. Felt like everything was going well. And then today my body betrayed me and we're still trying to figure out what happened. But uh, I was cramping from attempt number one to attempt number nine. And uh, that was just really frustrating. Yeah, we, um, we played whack-a-mole on body cramps for seven attempts. And then by the eighth attempt, uh, it was really just a full body, full body, uh, pretty much shut down. <laughs> um, I thought that, so like Bryce said, the only goal for today was uh, punching that ticket to Malta. And we understand that with this being, you know, three or four weeks before the Sheffield, uh, whatever Bryce puts up here is really just kind of a, a target for the three 93s from um, the U.S. that are competing at the Sheffield. And so there was no real value in hitting anything below that 870 kilo total um, because we're not going to get to that round of alternates for the 93. So that's why we loaded it even after, you know, him not feeling great today. We we went for it anyway. And, uh, yeah, it just wasn't, wasn't the day we wanted after seven attempts. Mm. If, if the meet was seven attempts, he would have – he would have won. He would have blown it out of the water. <laughs> um, first of all, Bryce and Natalie, congratulations on your first uh, PA National Championship. Um, Thank you. I've suffered from cramps quite a bit as well, and I know how debilitating and, and how they can create decrements in performance. And I know that you're big into psychology. What sort of mental you know, thinking or maybe perhaps techniques did you use when these, you're overwhelmed with these cramps and you're trying to at this simultaneously fill your head with positive things to, to go out and execute. Yeah, well, today, frustration and cursing was my main tool. We laughed, too. Um, we did. We laughed a little bit. It's just how ridiculous all of this was. It just felt so out of my control. I mean, I was drinking fluids. Let's drink some more fluids. Let's, let's add electrolytes. Let's eat something. Nothing was working. Um, we tried some deep breathing toward the end. Um, there was some effect of just kind of like, thinking, well, I just, I have to do this. So I'm just going to give everything I have. And if I tap out my body's resources and, and that's all that's left, I have nothing left to give and, and I can at least take some comfort in that. So that was something that was going through my head. Um, any mental strategy I had kind of broke down on that second deadlift. Um, after my first deadlift, I was laying on the floor and couldn't find a position where anything would stop cramping. And it's just like, I'm thinking, like, how am I going to even get out on the platform and try this if I can't get my arm to straighten? And so I just, I said, I'm just going to go out there and give everything I have. And, and I did. And it just, you know, it wasn't enough today. Uh, you really showed a lot of heart going out there. Um, it was really inspiring to watch because I saw you in the warm up room cramping so hard and you almost couldn't even walk off the platform and stuff. And, and you really showed a lot of mental toughness going out there. Um, so Matt Gary, you stole my question. But um, coming into this meet, how was training going coming into this? And how are you feeling as far as like your, your chances of hitting that qualifying total? I felt on top of the world going to this competition. Um, I kept a lot of my heavy lifts off of social media just for the chance that I might – I might, you know, keep one of the 93s from joining me here and maybe saying, you know, I'm just going to go do the Sheffield. Um, but I hit a 325 squat in training. Um, I, I benched 215 earlier. I've benched a bunch of times at 205. I pulled 370. Like 900, I was thinking, okay, well, I'm not going to do that here, even though that's my training total because I've been training, I don't know, four kilos heavier or something like that. But we were pretty confident in the plan. We yeah. thought we were being pretty conservative. Yeah, yeah. I think um, I, I thought 870 was a lock. I mean, 880 was a lock. Um, that 870 would be a promising second attempt, and we could just have some fun on the third. <clears throat> um, and and yeah, Bryce has trained. You've trained heavier than 93 for the most part. But um, I mean, it's his recomp on meet day was great too because by the time we were he was benching, he was 97 kilos. Mm -hmm. um, he stepped on the scale just out of curiosity and uh, weighed 97. So it wasn't, it wasn't, um, 
yeah, it was just something funky with something going on in his body. But yeah, yeah, it was it was still a good day. It I was mean, an improvement for my last yeah, competition. His last competition in, yeah. in November it was a eight thirty five or eight thirty seven and a half total, mm-hmm. and he beat that today on a pretty awful day. So. Mm-hmm. Still on the upward trajectory. Just we we put this bar at 870 out there and failed to reach that. So it, then it feels like everything else is kind of doesn't matter. But mm-hmm. realistically, he's still getting stronger at 93, and I think that's really important. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I think the the sky's the limit. I mean, you've gone into the 900s many times at different weight classes and stuff. So I was really excited to see what you might do at 93, mm-hmm. and I'm still really excited. Are you going to stay at 93? Yeah, the the plan is to figure out what happened, work on some nutritional stuff, maybe train a kilo or two lighter, and you know, find the next competition, figure out any qualification stuff if possible, but otherwise just kind of keep marching forward. Awesome. Probably a trial run meet too. Yeah. Test yeah. test out the new method. I'd yeah. Love to see you. You know, if, if that 93 spot goes to someone else um, at the NAPFs in the Cayman Islands. Mm-hmm. So I forgot go, about that. Let's go yeah, yeah, that's a possibility too. Yeah. When is that? It's in August. Uh, August. August. Early August, I think. All right. Okay. So. It's warm. <laughs> let's go to the Cayman Islands. August is warm. <laughs> All right. Uh, any other questions? All right. Thank you so much for thank joining you. us. Thank you. Yep. Really appreciate awesome. you. Yep. Yeah. Thanks. Cool. Awesome.